This video is explaining how a cold plate works. It's pretty simple in design. It has what they call circuits or passes. This one is, is a six pass. You'll see three lines over here, three lines over here. This is one side where it goes either in or out. Doesn't really matter which side. It states here in. Over here it states out. You will notice that the circuits are symmetrical. So this is number one. And this is number one. So that goes in here, comes out here. If you would like to merge your circuits together and keep the product in the cold plate longer, you would then attach your, uh, your line to the circuit number one or two. It doesn't really matter. And then when it comes out, the opposite side, its symmetrical side, you would jumper it back in with a small piece of tubing going back in so it runs up and down in here. Now, inside this cutaway, here's a cutaway we have in our showroom showing you the small little stainless steel tubing that runs up and down inside this aluminum cast block. So it is important that you cool this. It's designed to go in ice, be immersed in ice. Some put it in refrigerators or beer coolers or things of that nature. But the best cooling for the optimum tra heat transfer is have it in some ice. Now, if you would want to utilize all the circuits to keep your product in there the, lo the longest, then you would jumper each one. So that means in, out, and you go back in. Instead of coming out and going up to the dispenser, you would jumper again back into here and so on and so forth. Now, there's a couple different fittings that come in these cold plates. Some are, some are look like this, which, which you would have a male flare at this side and you'd have a barbed end to slide your tubing on on the opposite side. But this is the mo one of the more important things with the fittings. This needs to be in this hole to prevent leakage. This is what they call a flare washer. And this is a special size for in here. The other type of fitting is what they call male flare, male flare, and that it takes, that allows you to screw on a swivel nut and, and barbed end on that as well. Again, red flare fitting is important on that. Um, I, other than that, the cold plate is pretty simple in design. You can, you know, run just one circuit through there. Most of the time, what you want to use or focus the uh, circuits on is your soda water because that's so imperative that that gets down to the proper temperature. The syrup is not as important to go through there because it, it's not as significant an amount of per cup. So, for instance, the, a 12-ounce cup is only is 10 ounces of soda water, only 2 ounces of syrup. And it doesn't play as much of a factor on product quality as soda water does. So focus in on that while you're working with your cold plate.